Hey guys, this is OG Gaming. What's with a little update? Well, over the weekend, I told you I was going to go ahead and make another video once I talked to Josh from Dell. If you're not familiar with Josh, if it's the first time you're watching this video, well, he was a technician that was helping me from start to finish. And today he called like I knew he would because I left him an email concerning... Uh, it just seems like there was one thing after another and last night or actually Sunday I was changing out the colors of the Aurora because they have the LED lights and up on the screen here it pulls up the command center you know and um, it wouldn't um, The colors you see is all red as you can, let me move the camera a little closer here You can see it, I don't know if you get a better shot, but anyway it would the, the colors is the, the case right now is all red But everything here would change it would the keyboard would change and Everything will be just fine up here, but it was not changing on the case itself as you can see It's in the corner over here where it's always at but that, and I thought that was the oddest thing. So, so I, I, I called I called Josh. I left well I didn't call him. I left him an email concerning that, you know. So, and then there's a notification bar there, and what ended up happening, I, I, I keep seeing it pop up, but I just keep forgetting to click on it. So, I end up uh, clicking on it, and I guess it, it detected an issue with the lighting. You know, this was after I sent the email out to, to Josh. I wish I could have sent, I wish I had that software where you can actually, you know, I think they were making it where you can send the email and then get it back. But anyway, so I clicked on it and it fixed the light issue. And then the next time when I booted it up, it fixed all the issues. My colors were where they were supposed to be like, Right now I got the red thing going on. You can see the side of the case there, you know, the alien logo there. So it, it finally kicked over to red and, you know, I'm constantly messing with that, constantly, you know, playing with that and uh, close this out. But anyway, that was a problem, but it fixed it, but he hasn't called at that time, you know, so he finally called me and we talked about the issue and and so we were able to close everything out and then um, his supervisor wanted to talk to me so uh, Josh says I'm gonna bring him on the line and it was all about how his performance with me from day one and I did mention in the video when someone takes it personal what I'm trying to say is is by me working with Josh, and I was concerned because it was my PC. He took it personal too, and it's not his, but you got the sense where he took it like it was his own, his own PC going through the problems. And so that was a, to me that really, you know, that showed me that there's a, you know, he's good at what he, what he does, you know. And I wish there was a lot more people because I doubt would, people from Dell before it wasn't as helpful like Josh was and uh, now I'm not getting paid by any means they're not sponsoring me they're not putting money in my pocket I'm just a consumer man and you know I want a fixed income and as young as I am I shouldn't be man really I had a little issue and it took me out of the, the workforce for good forever but that's another time, you know. Um, so to get back, <laughs> the reason of the video, because I did tell you that I was going to make one once I talked to Josh. So Josh, the supervisor, gets on, and I'm talking with the supervisor, and so he was asking me how was Josh from you know how was the performance. And I had nothing bad to say. Not that I wanted to, believe me, if there was something bad, I would, I would voice it, you know. 
but there was nothing the dude was helpful you know he was willing to go the extra mile and some so you can't really argue with that you know nothing you can say about that but good things and but it seemed like every technician that I came across was pretty damn good you know there was one guy that I on the on the early part when I was actually looking to buy from them the guys were pretty rude they were pretty obnoxious but so we talked me and the supervisor talked and they're going to consider compensating me for the inconvenience for both computers because even though I had one computer I bought one computer I had problems you know they 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 took it back and they keep sending me letters like they want it back you know now the letters coming in red like if it's a bill or something like if you don't give us you know we're gonna fucking blow you up or something you know but and I and I and I already gave them the tracking number and they but these letters still keep coming you know and so but it's on its way you know so back to but back to the supervisor so I talked to the supervisor he says he's gonna compensate me but he needs to move it up to someone higher than him and I don't know for sure if it's gonna get done or not um, but we'll have to wait and see he says it takes about 24 hours for it to go through and be approved as of right now I don't know you know I, I wasn't sitting there complaining that they should give me something you know I, they were the ones that offered it so I said okay you're offering uh, oh, let's see you know let's see if you come through you know and that's we'll see what happens when tomorrow maybe Wednesday or maybe even Thursday I might hear something most likely they may send me an email stating what they're going to give me you know I see a lot of people you know when you when you talk about compensation right away your mind starts to run you know like hey what, what I see people getting keyboards and people getting headphones people getting jackets hats you know I, I don't know I'm not a I'm not a picky person you know I just like stuff done sensible right you know and um, but overall they did a damn good job they did a damn good job customer service you know they might be weak on one end but they're also stronger on one so that kind of like balances it out even but overall you know well let me, let me say this the other day I did mention it in one of the videos I did get I got a, a, a message from Dow but it wasn't from Dow from you know the people you call it's the guy that works from Dow and I told him um, he wants me to correspond with him through emails so he sent me his email so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him back and I'm gonna see what he has to say he was talking about water cool and stuff like that and liquid cool rather um, I don't really know if I want to do that yet you know liquid cool and it, it, I mean it'll keep the CPU and everything else you know warm I mean cool 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 you know not cool 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 but I live in a high desert and so it gets really hot up here and you know I usually I got the PC just right next to the, the air conditioning vent so when it pumps cool air it's gonna suck cooler through there so it's gonna help bring down the temperature so anyway uh, so I'm gonna hit that guy up from Alien, you know, Alienware. Um, he he sent me some literatures already, some sites to go check out for Liquid Cool. But I think I'm getting a little too far off base here. Um, what I did, what I wanted to make the video for, is to let you guys know that you know we're we're still in the talking process of getting compensated, and so we'll see. And when that happens, I will share it with you. And then I want to give a, a a really good shout out to all of the subscribers that subscribe to the channel you know it's it's kind of a good feeling inside if you know what i mean you know i'm just a little guy man i'm just a a tiny salt in a salt shaker you know i'm here just trying to be helpful and try to help other people and and you know if i can help you in any way if you're going through dell be free to message me anytime you know I'll try to help you as much as I can and I just want to say thank you to all you guys that were on this journey with me and I really appreciate each and every one of you I don't I may not know your names man but I see the subs and stuff and I really appreciate that and um, 
but like I said, uh, I, I, I'll definitely try to help out as much as I can, and that's just my nature. And another thing I want to share before I end the video, you know, uh, I was going to go to my local computer shop, and we li I live in a small town. You know, it's, it's not big, but it's also not s small, but it's small in most areas, you know. Maybe like 20, 30,000 people. It's not that small for a city, but I live in a high desert, so that kind of like, ah, eh, it is and it's not, you know. It's kind of in between. But I called my local um, um, PC guy, and, and so we talked with them yesterday on the phone, and I told them that I was thinking about bringing in my, my Aurora and see if we can add more fans to their, into it. Being up here in a, in a, in a hot summertime, the more fans, the better airflow, the cooler the parts will be. And if you can keep them nice and cool, they're going to last a lot longer. My gosh, 10 minutes of video. Anyway, folks, as soon as I find out about Dell, and, and you know, I'll definitely be making a video. And if, and thank you for the subs. I really do. You know, appreciate all you guys for li for listening and stopping by. You know, and all that good stuff. And some of you guys hit me back. I appreciate that as well. But I got to cut it short. I know you guys got things to do, like me. Like I said, I don't work anymore, so I got to go vacuum, all right? Yes, I do windows too. You know, the wife's at work, so I, I, I do the cooking and the cleaning and all that good stuff. But that's just doing my part, you know? But anyway, this is OG Gaming. I'll come back with you guys. I'll hit you back with another video shortly. But until then, stay cool, man. It's hot. And I will see you on the next one, guys. Later. Later, I said. See you later, man. Come on. I gotta go.